Gentlemen, brothers, boyfriends, husbands, and BFFs, we all know why you're here. You're here because you take shitty photos. And now with your relationships on the line, you finally put your pride and ego aside and come for help. I don't know, my girlfriend says she doesn't even care about taking pictures. If she says she doesn't care about taking pictures, it just means you haven't taken a good one of her yet. Because everybody likes good pictures of themselves. And so, I commend you all for deciding to give your partners what they want and what you so pathetically cannot provide. Good IG pics. Now, let's begin. Before even taking out a camera, you must first ask yourself, what is the primary purpose of the desired photo? Food, environment, fashion, thirst, all of the above. Pop quiz. Hey, um, would you mind taking a photo of me? Uh, sure. Wrong! A good IGBF doesn't need to be asked to take a photo. They are always on the lookout for the perfect photo op. Look for interesting backdrops, wall textures, depth, symmetry. See a shot opportunity? Well, how much time do you have to get it? Are there pedestrians in the background? Be patient, wait for them to pass. Is a flock of birds flying by? What are you waiting for? Start snapping! It's true that it's not about the tool, it's about the person using it. But that tool better not have a 3G at the end of it. If your phone isn't as good as hers, ask to swap. And if you don't have a mirrorless camera on you, why don't you have a mirrorless camera on you? Pop quiz. Which frame is best? Wide, medium, or close? You! Medium. That is so wrong! All of them. People want options. The rule of thirds is not about composition, it's about the three frame minimum. And if there's one thing to take from this class, it's never to cut off their feet in a full body shot. The shoes are part of the outfit. Say it with me. The, the shoes, shoes are, are part, part of the, the outfit. outfit. So, there are three basic angles. High, eye level, and low. High angles slim the face, low angles elongate the legs. Never go high from far, and never go low from close. This is so ridiculous. Why do we need to spend all this time just to take a photo? Because one day, after you've broken up due to your stubbornness, she'll find a man who doesn't mind taking photos. In fact, he'll want to. And you'll stumble across her beautiful pictures taken by her new boyfriend. And she'll be smiling in a way that you've never seen before. Is that what you want, Dave? No. Now, would anybody else like to whine? Or can I continue this lesson to save your relationships? When shooting in low light, resist the instinct to use the flash. Instead, be on the lookout for neon signs and Christmas lights. At this point, it's out of your hands as they are the ones who need to deliver the goods. However, it is still your job to assist in giving them the best chance of success. You. Do you know your girlfriend's favorite side? Passenger. Of the car, you moron of her face. Which side is most flattering? Every side of my boyfriend is flattering. Such a liar, everybody has a side. See? See? It's not the same. Be on the lookout for out of place hair strands. Fix clothing mishaps like a flip collar, a loose strap, or a bunched skirt. You're not just their photographer, you're their entire hair, makeup, and wardrobe team. Any one of these tiny mistakes can ruin a perfect photo and all the work leading up to it. Got it? Good. And now for some simulations. June, your girlfriend just ordered a beautiful pasta. You're up. Nope. Wait, what, what? What did I do? It's, this is a good photo. Did you not see the mop that was right behind her? Or the plant that was sticking out of her neck? 
can't. Now all you had to do was lean over two inches to avoid both. Didn't none of you see that? You saw me put it there. <sighs> Look, people, people. Now I know I've been hard on you and it's a lot to think about for a simple photo. But let's not forget why we're really here. Now, this was never about being the best IGBF. No, it's so much more. These photos aren't showing how you've captured them in the world. They're showing how they've captured you in yours. Show them. Show them how you truly see them, how you've always seen them. Confident, radiant, and properly exposed. Get it? <laughs> yeah. I got it. They got it. They really got it. See? <laughs> this is what I want from you. Why can't you do this for me? I'm trying. <sighs> okay. We'll go again. Okay, did we get it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, show me. Okay, that's not good. We need to do it again. Okay. <clears throat> Hey everyone, hope you guys liked that sketch. Yeah, it's actually an idea that we've had in mind for a long time. Yeah, and it wasn't until recently that we realized, man, this is actually like really useful information. This isn't even a joke. This is like a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so please send this to whoever needs to hear it. Um, we're trying to change lives here. Basically. Do you actually think about all these things every time you take a photo? No, but now I will. Really, I, like literally this entire seven minutes runs through my head every time I'm about to like snap. So oh, that's why it takes you so long. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. If this is your first time here, welcome to Wong Fu Productions. We make a lot of sketches and short films. Be sure to subscribe for more stuff just like that. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.